Okay, so here we're doing the follow-up for the uh, Sherpa. Um, what we're going to do is take a look at this. I've already got it turned on. And we're going to look at a couple of solar panels. One came with a backpack uh, that I bought on uh, Kickstarter. Uh, it's got an internal battery pack that can be used to charge devices. And we're going to see what the output is for this. And then I've got the uh, RAV Power 24 watt. We're going to see how good the output is for this. So let me switch up the camera a little bit so we can take a look at the uh, at some of the info. Okay, so we're going to take a look first at the, uh, the one that came with the backpack. And I'm thinking it's supposed to be four to five watts, so it's not going to be huge. Uh, so let's get this plugged in. Uh, we can see that it's charging real well. It has a green light here, so it's getting good sun. And what have we got? sure how well it's showing up. Um, this, one's, this one's between two and five. Every now and then it'll be two, every now and then it'll be five. So it's just kind of oh, there we go. Now it says three watts. So it is charging. So let's take a look now at the right power. And again, I know that one wasn't going to be too strong. I mean, it's waterproof and all that, but that's not really my biggest concern. Let's see how well the RAV power does. Coming up, 12 watts, and we're looking at nothing in the sky. There's no clouds, nothing. So 0.3 hours to fill for 98%. But the biggest thing is it's showing 12 watts. Um, which is huge. Now I'll go up to 24. As we can see, we're looking at 12 watts in. Uh, no, go up to 24. So it's just a matter of having a great location, good sun, everything else. Uh, my, my goal here was to get some kind of, you know, some decent input. 
in. And I could probably, you know, it's just a matter of messing, playing, finding a good spot. And again, 12 watt. What's cool is just seeing the difference. Because now we're looking at 12 watts again. But I have, you know, optimal conditions here. I mean, the maximum you can get from a solar charger through the charging port, solar port, is 21 or 22 watts. So getting 12 out of USB, hey, I'll take that any day. All right, again, just a short video. Didn't want to spend too much time out here. I want to get out and do some other stuff. It's just, I mean, it's beautiful today. Twelve watts, not bad. I wasn't expecting that much. So RAV power, twelve watts. Expectations, twelve watts. I'd like to see more. I probably could get a few more, but you know, change the hanging angle, all that kind of stuff. But for my purpose, it's great. And again. Everything folds up nice. Uh, again, this one, wow, it's nice, it's light, feels durable, it's waterproof. Um, leaving this hanging off the backpack, it'll charge this, but four to five watts maximum. Um, okay, it'll do in a pinch. It is lighter. Uh, but that's to be expected. Okay. We'll talk to you guys later.